Well, hello again. It's Debbie Gilbert here with I Got Communities, and today I have some special guests. These are my triplet granddaughters, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you. So, what's your name? Kaylee. Kaylee. Savannah. Savannah. Alana. Alana. Who's the oldest? Alana. And who's the middle? Savannah. And you're the baby? <laughs> ah, you're the young one by just a, just a couple of minutes, huh? Okay. Let, first of all, let's tell them. So, what are triplets? How do you become triplets? All born at the same time. All born at the same time. So, you started in your mommy's belly all together. And you've been together ever since, right? So, I'm just wondering before we start cooking. So, what's good about being a triplet? We're never alone. You're never alone. Sad when we're apart. Ah. Say that again. We're sad when we're apart. We are sad when we're apart. Okay. Anything else special about being triplets? Do you sound alike? Oh, okay. We need to show them how you sound alike. Okay, let's, let's do this. I'll count. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, so you all just go around making up your own little sounds trying to sound alike, right? Do you think you look alike? No, Alana said no. How, how do you look different, Alana? Well, she has an oval face. She has what? The oval face. She has an oval face. What kind of face do you have? Round. A round face. What about Kaylee? Round. Round. What about, what else is different? She has a mole. She has a mole. Okay. What else is different? Lana has short hair. Lana has short hair. What else is different? SJ's smaller. SJ's smaller. Okay. So, so what about this? So let's talk. And I know that you all say you laugh a lot. Yeah, you laugh a lot. When do you laugh a lot most? At the campground. At the campground, so you're campers. You love to go camping, right? Ah. You have a few hobbies, okay? Some of your hobbies are you raise chickens. All right, let's tell them some of the chickens' names in your big voices. Um, one's called Kissy. Kissy? Okay, what color is Kissy? Brownish, blackish, brown. Okay, and what are some of the other names, Alana? Um, Carmel. Carmel, okay. What are some other names? Oh. One is called Brownie. Brownie, Wendy. so you got Brownie and Carmel. And who? Wendy. Wendy, okay. Kissy. Huh? Kissy. Okay, anybody else? You've got, how many do you have? Nine. Nine. And so, what are chickens good for doing? What do they do? They lay eggs. They lay eggs. Yeah, they lay eggs. And so, um, you, you learn a lot about things in life by watching your chickens and them lay eggs. And I know eggs are one of your favorite foods. <laughs> so, how do you like your eggs fixed? Boiled. Boiled eggs, and you also like another kind of an egg that we fix all the time. Do you remember what that is? Is it a deviled egg? Yeah, do you remember what we put in deviled eggs? When we're fixing those, what all do we stir in there? Do you remember that when we're cooking? Mm -hmm. Mustard. Mustard. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just a little pinch of sugar. Sometimes a little pinch of salt. Yeah, we, you, that's one of your favorite things to, to do. What's your favorite thing to cook, Savannah? Cupcake. Cupcake. So, recently you made over 200 cupcakes and sold them. And what did you end up buying with some of your cupcake money recently? A trampoline. A trampoline. Ah, so what's your favorite thing to play with, Kaylee? You have a lot of these. Oh, I know. You know? What does she love to play with? 
Baby dolls. Baby dolls. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite thing to play with? Stuffed animals. Stuffed animals. You love stuffed animals, but you just got something new that you brought to my house this weekend. And a car. Ah, cars and a Hot Wheel track. Because you're a little risk taker. You love riding rides and taking risk and all that stuff. Anything else we need to tell people about you guys tri being triplets? What, why do you like to come to my house? You come to my house every Friday night and spend the night and the day on Saturday. So what do you like about coming to my house? What, we do crafts. We do crafts. What else? What else do we do when you're here? What did we do last night? You remember? Make caramel apples. We made caramel apples. What did we do last weekend? Candy corn. Candy corn what? Cupcakes. Okay, and you came to my house and you said, Mel, I have a great idea about a new cupcake and here's what we should do. And how did we make it? So we made vanilla. Vanilla cupcakes. Orange icing. Orange icing. And we put candy corn on and candy corns on the top. Did you end up eating them all this week? No, you still got some? Well, we couldn't find them when we got in the cake room. <laughs> oh, they were all gone? No, but mommy, we don't know who hit them. Are you ready to try this new recipe? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make, this is kind of a fall dish for me, and this is called a sweet potato stuffed pork chop with a uh, maple glaze on top of it, okay? So we're gonna start out with five pork chops. And uh, where, do, where, do, where does pork chops come from? Pigs. Pigs, okay. So it comes from pigs. And so these have been, these are butterfly cut. And that means that it's a thick pork chop like this and it's cut down and it's like this. So we're gonna stuff in the middle with our stuffing, okay? Now, we've got sweet potatoes. So tell me where sweet potatoes come from. The garden. The garden, I know you all raise a garden every year. So what are some of the things you put in your garden? Beans. Beans, beans green corn. beans, corn. Strawberries. Stra you raise a lot of strawberries, <laughs> yeah. Tomatoes, there's tomatoes. Uh, there's something else that's green that you love. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. You love cucumbers. So you raise cucumbers. So those are just a few things. But sweet potatoes we raise in the garden. So we have sweet potatoes. We also are going to add some onions. Where do onions come from? Where do they grow? The garden. The garden. And garlic grows in the garden. So the first thing we're going to do in this skillet over here we're gonna add a tablespoon of avocado oil. And so this kind of keeps the, the sweet potato from sticking. So I've got the uh, stove turned on high. I've got the oven uh, already set to 300 because we're gonna bake these really slow today. So the first thing we're gonna do, I've diced up the sweet potatoes and uh, anybody who works with sweet potatoes knows sweet potatoes are really a hard, dense potato, and so they're a little bit hard to cube up. So I usually just slice them in slices then, and then cube them. So I'm going to add, uh, this is two fairly large sweet potatoes, so I'm going to add this to the avocado oil. Okay. Then we're going to add, this is one onion, uh, just, it's just a sweet onion. I'm going to add that. And then we're going to add two cloves of garlic. And garlic is, girls, it just seasons our food to have a little bit of a better taste. So, uh, just a little bit of garlic. Okay. All right, now, we're gonna cook this uh, in this skillet for just, oh, about five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes.
we'll get it going here. Heat up. Now, while we're doing that, we're going to make our maple glaze. Now, maple, uh, we're gonna use pure maple syrup. Now, we were just talking earlier, I asked the girls, where do we get maple syrup? From maple trees. From maple trees, okay. So maple, and where did you learn that? From my mom. From your mom, and so your mom's your teacher. So you go to what kind of school? Home school, okay. You also have a special reading teacher that you love. And so all together, what's her name? Joni. 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 And uh, so we're going to add a half a cup of maple syrup back here. And we're going to add to the maple syrup um, one fourth cup of uh, broth. And broth is made, we were talking about this earlier, this is a, a, a protein broth and it's made uh, from cooking the bones actually of pork or beef or something like that. Okay, so we got this cooking. Now, we, we're gonna bring our maple syrup and our broth to boiling, and if it's boiling, what's happening? Do you know, what is it doing in this kettle? Does it bubble up and it gets really hot? Okay, so we're gonna bring that to boiling, and then we're gonna uh, go ahead right now, and we're going to mix together uh, a tablespoon of tapioca starch with another fourth of cup of broth. So I'm gonna add that in there, Stir that up. And this is just gonna make that maple syrup and broth, it's kind of like a real thick, syrupy, gravy-like consistency, okay? So we're gonna stir that in there a minute. Gonna come over here, and we're gonna add this. Start in the bowl. Gonna add that. So we've got the glaze done, and it just is a thick, gravy-like glaze that we'll use in a minute. Uh, very sweet, very tasty. Now, um, this, what we're doing today is part, everything we're, that we're using is on the autoimmune solution diet. And so, um, these girls know that I've been on a special diet because I have had some illnesses. I've had diabetes, type 2, hypertension, and one of my biggest reasons for going on the diet is because I have rheumatoid arthritis. And so it's helped me to be able to get my health back and not have to take so much medicine because these are the most important people to me in my life and I want to be able to get down in the floor and play with them and um, do things outside, ride bicycles, jump rope, do things that little girls like to do when they're growing up. So I'm trying to take care of myself so I can spend a lot of time with them. Okay, now this is getting almost ready to take up. And the reason why we sear the pork chops is because we want to seal in the juices as it bakes in the oven. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to get those just seared up a little bit. Now we have here, waiting on the pork chops, we have the maple glaze, we have sweet potatoes with the onion and garlic in it that we have just taken off the stove, some Himalayan sea salt. Now, while we're waiting on the pork chops to sear on both sides, because it's going to make them a little brown on both sides, we're going to talk about something that you and I talk about when we're here, okay, at our house. So I, I, I've taught Savannah this for several weeks now, and I always look at her and say, I will greet this day with love in my heart. With love in my heart. So what does that mean, Savannah? I will love everybody and everything. I will love everybody and I will love everything. Why is, why is it important to love everybody and everything? You know why that's important? You know what? How does it make you feel? Happy. It makes you feel happy when you decide to love everybody and everything. What happens when you have hate in your heart? How does that make you feel? Sad. Sad. It makes you feel sad. So every day we wake up, we get to choose how we feel, right? So we can choose to feel happy or we can choose to feel sad and mad. And so what do you like to choose? Happy. 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 So let's say it together. I will greet this day with love in my heart. With love in my heart. And then, of course, when they spend the night with me, we have a song that we sing every night uh, that we love. And what else do we do at night? Pray. Pray. Yeah. But who are the people we pray for? The people who are sick. Huh? We pray for people who are sick. Yeah. People who are sad. We pray for our family. We, we say things that we're thankful for. People who are sick. People that are hurt, yeah, and we say thanks for the for our food and for our family, and yeah. So we make that a, a habit every time before we go to bed to say things that we're thankful for, you know, things we need help with, don't we? So, okay. So how are you gonna greet this day? Just love in my heart. <laughs> love in my heart. Okay. Let's flip these over. Okay, so we have a see just a nice caramel brown color on those. That's the great thing about using this was my grandmother's, my grandmother's iron skillet. And so I love to cook in this skillet because my grandmother always let me cook with her. She taught me a lot about cooking. And so that's why I want to teach these girls about cooking. And I'm always saying to them, now when you have girls and when you have grandchildren, always cook with your grandchildren. Got to teach them things that are important. Okay. All right. Why is it important to eat healthy? You know that? Why do we need to eat healthy? So we can grow. So we can grow. So, so why? So we don't get sick. So we don't get sick, yeah. And so it matters, the things that we eat. Uh, last night you guys were eating a lot of fruit. Uh, what were you eating? Grapes. Grapes and apples. Um, one thing that we're going to do is I'm gonna move the skillet over here uh, t to the uh, island and we're gonna stuff them right in the skillet and then we're gonna bake them in there. Now. If you are looking in the autoimmune cookbook, there is a very quick and easy recipe similar to this where the pork chops are stuffed with apple. We're gonna, and, and you can cook them a little faster for a shorter time. But we, we like these super, super tender, and so we're going to stuff the pork chops, put them in the oven at 300, and sometimes I'll put it down to about 275 and actually let them stay in there for a couple of hours, just on a very low heat. And when they come out, they're just like so tender and just 
they'll just melt in your mouth. They're so good. So, let's get these moved over to the um, bar. And this is pretty hot. So, gonna bring it over here. They're just simmering away in here. So, here's how they're looking at this point. Okay. All right. Now, I usually don't let them help me do very much hot stuff. Because we don't want them to get burnt. And this kind of a skillet gets hot all over. So you have to hold it with the handle when you're holding it. Um, now, what I usually do here is I just take a fork and I lift up the pork chop. And I'm going to take some spoons of the sweet potato stuffing. Gonna slide it right in there. Woo, that's pretty warm. Got it in there. extra that I have, I'm simply going to go ahead and spread it around in the skillet. And that way we can have a lot of extra on the side if we want that. I will probably fix a um, green garden salad to go along with this. Uh, later today. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to let you guys help me a little bit with this because you always love to help. So I have a pastry brush <laughs> and I'm, you're going to get some of the, it's pretty thick, you're, but you're going to get the sauce on here and you're going to brush it all over the pork chop. Okay. And then we'll brush them all once. And then as it bakes, I will go back in while baking and brush with the glaze just a little bit more. So Savannah, moving to you so we know it's hot. So just go ahead and take the pastry brush, get a lot on there. And let's just let you brush this one. Brush it all over. Just keep brushing away. A little more. Okay, nice job. Okay, Alana, can you do this one? Let's see. Don't touch the handle. All right, you're going to do this one. Let me go ahead and get some of the sweet potato away from there. Okay. Okay, add more. Yeah, that's kind of thick, isn't it? Okay, are you done? Okay, put the pastry brush in. Let's move it down and let Kaylee. Hmm. Say, so, Kaylee, let's see. We've got you want to do that one?
just keep rubbing it. Just keep rubbing it and you'll, that's that tapioca that makes it thick like that. Add some more. Good job. Okay, let me get some on this center one. <laughs> That's a little sticky, huh? All right. It's a little thick. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, salt on these. Uh, this is just Himalayan sea salt as we go around through here. Okay. I'm going to cover these with aluminum foil. I've just got some aluminum foil pieces. I do this because it makes the meat a lot tender as it more tender as it cooks. got these in the oven now it's a sweet potato stuff pork chop with a, a um, maple syrup glaze on top so we're gonna let this cook girls for uh, about two hours actually we're just gonna let it super slow cook and then after it's all done we'll come back and see what it looks like okay thanks for being with me today you guys have been so helpful today and just, it's really good for people to get to see triplets. You know, triplets are rare and not everybody has ever even seen triplets. And so it's good to be able for people to see triplets and see what you're like. So let's tell them. So we will greet you with love, love in our hearts. hearts. And I'll be with you shortly when these come out of the oven. Okay, so we have just pulled our meal out of the oven, and what do you think, girls? What do you think? How does it look to you? Good. Good? good. Are you anxious to try? Who's starving? Okay. All righty. Well, let's take a little bit out, and we're going to put it on our plate here. So... Gonna scoop one of these out. Okay, there's how it looks. We're gonna come in here, get a little more of their sweet potatoes, put along the side here. All right, and so, whoopsie. And so here is how it looks. It is a sweet potato stuffed pork chop with a maple uh, uh, syrup on top of it. So who wants to taste? Okay, okay. So let me get us something. Are we ready to dig in? All right. Remember, it's a little hot. So just let it cool a little bit before you stick it in your mouth. Okay, to make sure it's not too hot. And then tell me what you think. Mmm. What do you think? Good. Good. Okay. Good? Mmm. Now, these girls love sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is one of the basics of this diet. And this little gal, she loves meat. How's the meat? Good. Okay. So, thanks for joining us today, and we hope you try this dish sometime. 
And until we see you again, just keep living.